Hello and welcome back to Projects in Java. Today we're going to continue our camera project. We're going to keep on working on the camera panel class. So let's go ahead and go to the project. And right now we have the camera image, but it's in a mat object. So a mat is just a matrix of values. So we need to convert that into a buffered image. And that's where the method mat to buffered image comes in. So let's go ahead and create that. And let's go ahead and make this lowercase just to follow the naming convention. And this is going to take a mat. We'll call this mat BGR for blue, green, red. And we need to get some values here. So int width is equal to mat BGR dot width. And then height is equal to mat.bgr or mat.bgr.height. And channels is equal to mat.bgr.channels. And so now that we have those values, we can create a byte array. We'll call this source is equal to new byte. And that's width times height times channels. And then we'll call map bgr dot get. And we're going to start from the first pixel. And we're going to input that into the source. And then we're going to take the buffered image that we have already. And we're going to assign it to a new buffered image. And we'll use the width and height of our input. And then the type is going to be a buffered image dot type. And then 3 byte BGR. And next we're going to have another byte array. And this one we're going to make final. We'll call this target is equal to, and we'll cast data buffer byte. To image dot get raster dot get data buffer dot get data and actually we need to move this parentheses up to over here and now we're going to call system array copy and we're going to copy the source Now we're going to start at zero, and then the destination is going to be our target. And we're going to start at zero again, and then the link is going to be our source dot link. And the last thing we need to do before we try and test this to see if we can get an image is add the camera panel to the JFrame. 
Now let's go ahead and launch this. See if our camera comes up. And it does. So here's our camera. And you can see the stream happening. So let's go ahead and close this. And now we need to handle the frame sizing. And we'll base that off of the image that we're grabbing. And so here we're going to get the J frame of this panel. So top frame is equal to, and we'll cast J frame. And we're going to use swing utilities to get window ancestor of this. And so now that we have the JFrame, we can set the size. So frame dot set size. And we're going to use the webcam width. So webcam image dot width plus 40. And webcam underscore image dot height plus 110. Now let's see if that works right. And so now our J frame is sized correctly. Let's work on the screenshot button. And here we can put it into the action perform method. Unless you want to create a separate method for it. And we're going to create a new file. We're going to call this screenshot1. Now, if the file doesn't exist, we are going to output it to file1 or screenshot1. And if it does exist, we're going to find out if the next file exists. So we're going to do I++. And then output is equal to new file, screenshot, plus i, plus dot png. Then we're going to call image io dot write. And we're going to use image, and then format is going to be PNG, and we're going to use the output file. Then we'll surround that with a try and catch. And let's see if we can get our screenshot. And we'll launch the application again. Take a screenshot. And now let's go to our project directory and see if our screenshot is there. So here we have our screenshot. Now let's take another one to make sure it outputs the new file. And there's the second one. And so in our next video, we'll enable the switching between the cameras.